Hey Busy Bees! Christmas is right around the corner and I love to indulge in all things gingerbread during this holiday season. So today I'm partnering with Pillsbury to bring you a simple and easy way to make fresh stuffed gingerbread donuts and then we'll enjoy it with a decadent gingerbread hot chocolate to wash it all down. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys are a gingerbread lover like myself, and please don't forget to subscribe below. Let's get started. Okay, in a medium saucepan, I'm gonna add in one and a third cups of whole milk, then half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one tablespoon of molasses. Molasses is the ingredient that gives our gingerbread custard that smoky note. I'll mix it with the spoon until I get all the molasses off. And then we're gonna move on to the spices. I'm adding in one tablespoon of ground ginger, one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of allspice, and a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. It smells so good already, all these spices. While the milk is heating up, I'm gonna work on our egg mixture. Here I have a third cup of granulated sugar, two tablespoons of cornstarch, and one egg. I'll mix them all together until they become a paste. This will transform our milk into a delicious silky custard. Finally, when the milk starts to steam and bubble a little bit, I'm gonna take it off heat and pour half of it into my egg mixture, being sure to mix while I pour it in. This will prevent the eggs from scrambling when they're exposed to the heat. Now I'll take that mixture and pour it back into the saucepan, again making sure to whisk vigorously until it becomes a nice thick custard. It's gonna happen in about two to three minutes, so just keep whisking. Yep, it's starting to thicken and pulling it off heat. Now I'm gonna pour it into my bowl, and then one tablespoon of butter at a time, I'm gonna mix it in until the butter's completely melted. The butter is gonna give our custard a nice and silky sheen like this. Doesn't it look so good? Now I'm gonna cover it with some plastic wrap, making sure that it touches the custard so that a film does not form on the custard. I'll let the custard cool to room temperature, then I'll pop it in the fridge and let it chill for three hours to overnight. In a bowl, I'm gonna add in one cup of granulated sugar and one tablespoon of ground cinnamon. I'll mix it up well, and then I'll set it aside. Now, using my Pillsbury Grand Southern Homestyle Biscuit, this is an awesome shortcut to make donuts at home. I'll open up my Pillsbury can, and they're already pre-cut. Easy peasy. Now I'll add about three cups of vegetable oil into my medium saucepan. I'll heat it up on high heat until it's ready. A really neat trick to tell if your oil is ready is to stick a chopstick or a skewer at the bottom of the pot. If tiny bubbles start to come up, then it's ready. Now that my oil is hot and ready, I'm gonna add my biscuit dough. Look at it sizzle. I'll let it fry for about two to three minutes until the bottom is golden brown, and then I'll flip them over. Now I'm just gonna make sure they're evenly fried here. Then with my spider, I'm gonna scoop them out, and then immediately dunk them into my sugar mixture. Make sure to do this while it's hot so that the sugar can stick better. like snow-covered donuts. I'm gonna let the hot donuts cool while I prepare my gingerbread custard. Once my custard has chilled, I'm gonna take the plastic film off and then give it a good mix. In my piping bag, I'm adding this long piping tip, snip off the end. Now I'm gonna scoop some custard into my piping bag. Using my piping tip, I'll just poke a hole into the donuts and then squeeze the custard in until it starts to overflow with custardy goodness. Oh yeah, let's give it a try. The biscuit dough is so fluffy and it's still warm, which is delicious. And the center is filled with the gingerbread custard that is silky and smooth. You guys have to try this, and it's so easy to make, right? But to make this even more decadent is this gingerbread hot chocolate to really wash it all down. 
In a large bowl, I'm going to add in one and a quarter cups of powdered sugar and sift it until it's nice and smooth. Then I'm going to repeat the same process with one and a quarter cups of cocoa powder. Sift, sift, sift. Now I'm going to add in one tablespoon of ground ginger, one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of allspice, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt, and then I'll sift those through too. Sift until it's gone. Then I'll whisk everything together. In a nifty mason jar, I'm going to add in the cocoa powder mixture. And with this cool mason jar lid that's packed with love, I'll just seal it up. And it's a perfect DIY gift. My lucky friend is going to get about 10 cups of this gingerbread hot chocolate. Lucky girl! I'll add a few more touches, like a ribbon or something on the outside, but in the meantime, I'm gonna make myself a nice gingerbread hot chocolate. I'll add a quarter cup into my mug, and then I'll fill it up with some hot steaming milk all the way to the top, give it a good stir, and then I always like to add mini marshmallows to my hot cocoa. And to make it really festive, I'll top it with a gingerbread man, a mini one. He's lying on a bed of marshmallows, happy as can be. Let's give this a try. It's so cozy and warm and just ties so well with my gingerbread donut. The holidays are all about indulgence and I love making these treats to share with my friends and family. What are some of your food traditions and things you like to make? Comment below and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.